Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Happy to be with you this morning. I want to thank you for joining me in another episode of I Care. I've been talking to you about really, in a sense, just getting rid of your worries, not worrying about anything, been talking to you about not doubting, talking to you basically about how God is there for you and how he's going to strengthen you, how he's going to keep you. Well, guess what? I have some more scripture for you today, and it's going to encourage you in, this, in, in some of the same things. But I just want you to see how God talks. I want you to see the language of God towards us all, how he takes care of us, how he promises what he would do. There's a language to God. Hallelujah. And we need to learn the language of God. When we learn the language of God, things will work out so much better for us because then we'll be able to adhere to what we learn. Oh, Father, thank you so much. In the word of God, in Isaiah 50, it says, the Lord helps me, so I will not be ashamed. I will be determined, and I know I will not be disgraced. That's the century version, again, of the scriptures. I will not be disgraced. I'm not ashamed. I won't be embarrassed. No, 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 no. See, that's many times why we don't want to face our enemies, because we feel like we may be embarrassed or we may be shamed of something. But listen. Go before your enemy as if God is on your side. Go before your enemy as if God is in you. And guess what? The scripture says, great is he that's in you than he that's what? In the world. And so again, that lets us know we have nothing to fear. We have nothing to worry about. Then the scripture says, this, it says, give your worries to the Lord and he will take care of you. Oh, <laughs> he will never let good people down. But God, you will bring down the wicked to the grave. Murderers and liars will have only half a lifetime, but I will trust in you. What a way to live your life trusting in God. What a way to live your life when you give your worries to the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus took our, our, our worries from us anyway. He handled everything on Calvary's cross. And he did that so that we could live worry-free because we put our confident trust in the Lord and not in things, not in ourselves, but in the confident trust of the Lord. Because he is faithful, he is gracious, he is kind. I love this passage in Philippians chapter 4 again. Listen to this. Do not worry about anything, but any, I'm sorry, but pray and, and ask God for everything you need. Always, ooh, always giving thanks. Would you say that with me? Always giving thanks. And God's peace, which is so great, we cannot understand it, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, think about the things that are good and worthy of praise. Think about the things that are true and honorable and right, and pure, and beautiful, and respected. So those are the things that, that the Apostle Paul is telling us by the leading of the Holy Ghost. These are the things that we ought to think on. Hallelujah. So in other words, if it can't fit these categories, I don't need to think about it. I need to cast it on God. I need to cast thoughts away that don't agree with these things that I'm instructed to think on. You know, what you think is more powerful than you think. I'll say that again. What you think is more powerful than what you think. What do you mean by that? We have to come to a place where we understand the power of our thinking and how our thinking shapes what we say, what comes out of our mouths. And if we speak out of what we think and what's in our hearts and so forth, then we have to recognize the fact that I need to be mindful of how I think. I need to be mindful of what I think on. Because the more I think on a thing, the more that thing gets a grip in my life. Amen and glory to God. I want to read this to you again. But not, do not worry about anything. How many things? Anything. Not one good thing. Not anything. Amen. But pray and ask God for everything you need. Always giving thanks. I want to stop right there. Always giving thanks. Thanks is so powerful. I'm going to say that again. Thanks is so, so powerful in the life of a believer. God says, even coming to his presence with what? Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. 
Thanks is a very powerful tool with God. Thanks is a means that God has given us, watch this, to be victorious. The word of God declares, now thanks. Now what? Now thanks be unto God. Now watch this, that thanks that be unto God always causes us to triumph in Christ. It always causes us to triumph. And you see here in the passage of scripture, just read, it says, giving thanks always, always, always. Be thankful to God. You'll be amazed at the wonderful things that happen because you are thankful to your God. Hallelujah. Because your God is looking for you to be thankful unto him. Remember Jonah in the, in the, in the uh, stomach of the, of the, uh, the uh, great fish, as the scripture calls him? Well, when he wanted out of there, you know what he did? He gave thanks to God. He worshiped God in the situation in which he was in. He gave thanks. And then you know what happened? The fish let him out. And the fish let him out, watch this, in safety. Oh, praise his holy name forever. Not any harm, not any danger or damage, but he let him out in safety. Whatever your fish is, whatever your situation is, give God thanks, worship him, and get delivered. In the glorious name of Jesus, 